How's it going guys and gals? This is Advanced Warrior here and welcome back to another Tiny Wars Days of Ruin Online uh, replay commentary. It's been a while since I've last done uh, one of these, but uh, I had this one in store that I really wanted to show you. Um, please forgive me because this one actually took place before New Year's actually, so it's almost been over two months um, before... It's been two, almost more than two months after I initially finished this game. Um, but uh, yeah, I wanted to get this out for you guys. Um, let me just uh, give me one second. All right, <clears throat> so as, us as per usual, I will go ahead and introduce the COs that were played this match. So me, player one on the blue side on the top, I am playing as Tasha. Tasha is the offensive air unit CO. Uh, usually, uh, we notice a, a little uh, trope with the, some of these. It's like one specializes in this, one specializes in the same thing, but maybe more defensive or offensive. But uh, yeah, that's how I could simplify, simplify Tasha. Offensive air units. Um, she, she starts off with a zone radius of one, which is fairly fairly small I would say. Um, all units in the zone will get a 10% offense and 10% defense and air units however will get a 40% uh, offense and a 20% defense and I'm pretty sure we mentioned this before they do stack so um, you will have like 50% attack uh, with offense and plus 30% defense. Uh, this is really interesting because um, the way I view units, I think the most common ones for competitive advanced wars is uh, battlecopters, the more com the more common air units. Battlecopters, if you're able to hit them and keep them safe, then you can get a lot of value because tanks can only counterattack with machine guns that only deal chip damage uh, towards air units. So. Um, Tasha, I think she's a very tricky CO to play, um, especially with a very small zone radius. If you plan, plan to maybe put her in a tank uh, and like forfeit the guaranteed uh, Balakopter air damage, um, or like another unit, you're gonna have to set it up uh, to get that nice uh, bonus. And if that Balakopter gets shot, your CO zone is still alive. Uh, yeah, 50% offense is uh, really strong. Um, for her power, uh, the CO zone is global. All units get that plus 10% offense and defense. All air units will get that plus 50% offense and plus 30% defense. And they also gain plus 2 movement. I think uh, this is really nice because obviously air units are already mobile enough. Because um, nothing can hinder their terrain. Just being able to have that extra movement to close the gaps, maybe get some first strikes off of uh, anti-airs, because we all know, most of us know if a bomber gets a first strike on an anti-air, that anti-air uh, will not be strong enough to really do a whole lot against other air units. And anti-airs are known for dealing like a lot of damage to air units. Alright, um, this matchup is very interesting because we have Waylin! Waylin is... The defensive uh, air unit specialist, so I got the more offensive CO, my opponent has the more defensive CO. So Waylon or Waylon, uh, whatever you want to pronounce him, has a better zone radius. I think uh, two, a zone radius of two is the minimum that I personally can go for. Um, because uh, you can have, uh, you can attack with one, you can attack with your CO unit and then the second one can follow up and still be in the zone attacking the same unit. But um, as for his uh, zone, typical 10% uh, offense all units, 10% defense all units. Uh, air units get a plus 30%, uh, plus 20% offense, and a plus 30% defense. Add that with the CO zone, they have plus 30 and plus 40. Um, I think this is a, a lot more nicer, um, actually. Uh, although he is the more defensive CO, uh, Battlecopter is just getting a third plus thirty percent offense. Uh, I think is enough. Fifty percent from Tasha may be a little overkill, unless uh, you can just 
deal a lot of damage and almost render uh, that unit useless. Um, the plus 30% uh, defense is uh, very, very nice because um, air, uh, air combat units uh, tend to like die very quickly because of how hard they hit. So I just think, just think that extra defense uh, can really help Wayland's uh, air units uh, stay in the fight and maybe if they are attacked uh, by a first strike, there there might just be just enough HP for uh, Wayland's air units to perhaps counter attack uh, with that same damage unit. I haven't seen it myself, but this is just uh, like theory crafting in a way. As for his power, uh, makes it uh, global. This the CO zone global. All units plus 10% offense, 10% defense. All air units get that plus 20% offense, so really plus 30 defense. And plus 300 defense on air units. This number almost feels absurd, but let's just take into consideration how I mentioned that air units against air units, or anti-airs against air units, air units die very, very quickly. So that plus 300 defense uh, really helps uh, air units stay their ground. Like they could maybe be in front of missiles, in front of anti-air. Uh, it just helps them stay in the game and they might just be uh, healthy enough to start attacking the next turn and perhaps get that uh, bomber hits anti-air for a strike uh, as I previously mentioned. So we have a battle of the air seals. Well, who is the ruler of the skies? Alright, so this map is uh, called Central Lake and I really like this map a lot. Um, you have these, uh, these cities uh, in the center, uh, covered by forests and mountains. You might think that this is a little strong because uh, cities uh, help hide units and forests uh, do the same. However, um, there's a, there are units that can completely counter this and that's a flare. Uh, if someone has all four of these properties, they're not completely hidden in the center. They have flares to uh, to help them see what's in the center. As you can see, it's a base light map. We have uh, a base on each uh, side, I would say. Um, an airport in the back for each. Uh, HP is relatively safe in a way. We have these two radars on the side. Um, I couldn't really tell uh, if I wanted to like make a strong side. Uh, where to make a strong side. I thought maybe here because the radar is here and could help assist or maybe the radar could be used defensively. You could have more units up here. Oh and uh, we have these two uh, temporary airports. These temporary airports can actually come in handy. Uh, if you capture one of them, you do some combat in the middle, you could go back. They will repair. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have. They will repair and they will resupply and refuel. So uh, yeah, we have air CO versus air CO. Uh, let us see how this goes. Alright, so Tasha has an amazing theme. So I produce a bike and I produce an infantry. Um, I can't recall if I had enough for a bike or infantry, for a bike and infantry. Um, but anyways, I built a bike down here because um, it can reach uh, much further. And this infantry, I plan to just like you know just capture these three cities and then maybe pull back up to capture these two. Uh, you do want to make sure you capture your back properties. Uh, I've had had games where I had a a neutral bait, a neutral city. Uh, not captured because I pushed all my units too far front. So you gotta find the right balance for that. My opponent here, he has a bike on the bottom and he's immediately able to capture. He builds a bike and infantry. That might have been it. I think we only had enough for a bike and infantry. <clears throat> yeah, we have this one city here. Alright, so I go ahead and capture that and I begin to capture the center cities producing yet another bike and infantry. My opponent uh, looks like he's doing the same thing. Exactly mirrored so far, very similar capture face. Uh, 
uh, capture that city on the bottom. And I actually move my infantry towards the center. So perhaps I can maybe just have this one immediately start focusing on this airport and city back there. See what my opponent does. So far he does the exact same thing. And he's moving his bikes forward. He has an extra bike here. So that's why he's going a bit further out. But um... I would say fairly similar. Uh, fa fairly similar capture start. Two infantry. Rest are bikes. I, I don't think I could afford a bike so I just bought an infantry. I immediately go for this radar here. Uh, this is an obvious pick. Um, Alright, so instead of this infantry going for the back, I had this one uh, here that can immediately go for the airport a turn faster. So I had this moving towards the city, maybe towards the center. I know I definitely do want this radar, and I have enough to produce two bikes. Catching all those properties. Bikes help reach uh, these cities that infantry normally wouldn't. I just need to check something real quick. I think that's okay. Alright. So, um. Alright, so, uh, I. I. I would say this is kind of aggressive. Uh, the music will stop for a second. I'm terribly sorry. Um, I just need to see something. Okay. Yeah, I'm terribly sorry for stopping the music like that. It's amazing music, I will admit. But, uh, yeah. I go ahead for this, uh, for the center here. Uh, I wanted central dominance. Um, these cities are very, very contested. Maybe these two are more contested. Uh, this one and this one. Well, this is more, is more safe on the blue player one side. Maybe this is more safe on the player two side. But um, I wanted to get some kind of uh, central dominance uh, playing on this map. It was my first time playing this map. I didn't have any prior experience to know what to do. Alright, so I, I leave this one for my infantry capture. And I like to move out to the further cities. And I build my first tank, and I build a uh, infantry. Obviously, I had the funds for it. He's moving pretty far out, kind of doing something similar, leaving sit, leaving like the mid cities for the units in the back. So about like a turn or two sooner, uh, he could get the cities closer in the corner. And he also builds a tank. And uh, a bike this time, probably because he has he has the funds. <clears throat> I just proceed to capture cities. I capture the city here. The tank is gonna move down because I think I was like, all right, this is gonna be my strong side. Um, I produce a recon and a flare. Uh, I would say this is kind of interesting by me. Um, a flare, I feel like, is more offensive. Can be used more offensively uh, to get vision. Recons are more defensive. So building this tank here uh, and the flare down here uh, pretty much tells myself that uh, I wanted to make this my strong side. And here you can see I already have one city. He's about to start getting his after. I'm about to capture one and a half, I would say. Just bikes rev revving across. He builds another tank and he builds an anti-air. Uh, to do that, how many funds did he have? Uh, I'm trying to see how much he has, how many properties he has. Oh no, I'm sorry. I don't know why I can't see it. Oh, here we go. I have to slide it on myself. Initial funds. Buildings. He's got 13. Uh, he probably just had enough for one. He probably had enough for one of each. Uh, Anti-airs are uh, 7,000 Tiny Wars. Days of Ruin. 
uh, same price as a tank, so... Although it says he's just getting 13, he probably just had enough to upbuild these two. Here, this would have been 9,000. Tank and a... Tank and a... Uh, an infantry would be enough. But uh, yeah, we're, bo we're both air unit specialists, so... It's no surprise, um... That he has an anti-air. A, a very preemptive anti-air. I leave this, uh... Radar for my infantry to capture. And, um... I see myself pulling this bike down. I think I was afraid that something was here, but uh, I, I, this was not good. Uh, I already have a bike down here that I could start capturing that. That I could start capturing this city. While uh, this bike here, it will be hidden, but I guess um, my opponent probably was aggressive as I was, so most likely he would probably have this city or maybe even this city. That might have been my pro thought process at the time. Recon moving up. Flare moving up. I produce a tank and a recon. Now, uh... This is a... Pretty interesting. Maybe a little overkill on the vision. Um... Like I said, this was like... Months ago. Um... My philosophy on Advanced Wars has definitely changed. Um, if I could go back and maybe change a few things, I'd at least have a tank come down the same side with this tank. So my first tank can be covered by my second tank if it ever gets uh, first struck. Uh, my plan probably was to have this flare go towards the center and this recon move down here to see these cities. Like, I'm probably just playing for the center game and then be more defensive on the sides. That might have been my plan. Here you can see he's finally capturing his cities. Captures the radar almost the same time I do. Oh, my opponent eventually does the same thing. Tank on one side, tank on the other. Alright. So, probably in skill level both of us were even. He builds an artillery. I think this artillery is... Oh, what is going on? Sorry. <clears throat> Just a bunch of captures happening. Uh, this artillery is very interesting. Uh, you, these bridges are fairly long, although that is a beach, so... It's like a two-tile two, two tile long bridge. You could maybe have, um, have it here, perhaps, and they will provide good cover for whatever is up here. Or maybe uh, on the bridge closest to the island. Um, <clears throat> but it's not, like, overpowered or anything. Uh, especially considering air units and how both of us are actually air unit COs. I get trapped. This was, uh, this was bad by me. Just moving forward. Trying to capture as many as I can. Trying to scout as far as I could. Moving my units out. Tank moves up here. Capture the city on top. Oh. Excuse me. And here I produce, uh, here I produce a battle copter. Um, as I said, I am the, uh, offensive air unit, air specialist. And I build an anti-air because my opponent is an air specialist as well, so... Like, even without, uh, Tasha and Waylin in play, it's always nice to build an anti-air. <clears throat> Alright, so he's moving his bike in. <clears throat> a lot close to my radar. Gets his own radar the same time as mine. Tank is moving up rather than the center. This one is moving um, closer towards my side, I will say. And here, moving up. Another one to cover here. Uh, considering the layout of the map, uh, I personally am okay with, uh, with this. Two anti-airs. Um... But you do put yourself a tank behind. <sighs> oh, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, I I think it, it initially looks nice because you have one that can cover this side, one that can cover the other side. In fog, you keep them hidden until you see an air unit. You get a lot of value. In standard, 
uh, you have them out to zone out air units because air units do not take a heavy punishment for counterattacks. And here we see, what is this? Uh, this is turn... This is turn 9, he already has a medium tank. Worth 1200, by the way. Um, looking at this now, this is honestly kind of surprising. It's like, oh, medium tank, that's uh... uh he has two tanks. I have just two tanks. He has an artillery and a medium tank. I just have a battlecopter. Yeah, I have three vision units actually. So uh, yeah, that's so pretty interesting. <sighs> All right. So I go on the offensive. <clears throat> I kill this uh, infantry, and I go for the capture. <clears throat> Hold on, I have to go back. Sorry, I, I have to see something correctly. Okay, so I do all that. I, I flare and I see... I, I see this tank. And, and, and I go for it. Don't do this. I heavily regret doing this. Um, yeah, and bikes are a bit more sturdy than infantry. So, um, you will not expect a recon and the uh, infantry to kill a bike. It's also on, a, it's also on woods. Which has three stars compared to the cities that have two. So standing in woods is actually better than standing on a city for defense. <sighs> Recon scouting out. Fortunately, you cannot see cities in uh, in Days of Ruin. And I board my CO in a battle copter. Oh, this oh, that's a vision. Um, I think I eventually came to the conclusion much later that um that anti-airs no i'm sorry that tanks are the best uh, units for co for your co zone battlecopter at least the da the damage boost is not going to leave this battlecopter but uh i'm more offensive than defensive and any good anti-air could take out like maybe 70 80 percent of my health speaking of anti-airs i move uh Moving that down, and I produce two tanks. So now I have uh, four tanks. Probably after I saw this tank, I realized, okay, I need to start having horses. And that tank just one-shots my recon. Recon on the road at 9 HP. Not the best idea. Ooh. It's got a tank coming on this corner, so, I, so do I. Medium tank. Actually coming in from the uh, medium tank actually coming in, and he builds a duster. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think uh, he puts his unit on a duster. Uh, I think dusters are really nice for Wayland. They have uh, a lot of mobility, and um, although their attack power is mainly good for uh, for foot soldiers, and Battlecopters, I think? Where are the battlecopters? And battlecopters and other dusters. As well as uh, transport copters. Not so much for seaplanes. But, um... Yeah, the duster already doesn't have a lot of firepower for anything other than foot soldiers, battlecopters, and other dusters, but... They won't need it, because it's already good enough damage. So, with their mobility, um, they can actually act as a support and just fly around providing defense for air units. This mobility is very nice. Like, see, my battlecopter... I, it, I'm just standing behind my HQ from my airport. This duster can be on its own HQ. Um, yeah, it's just a lot more mobile than a... Uh, it's a lot more mobile than a battlecopter. But here we see this third uh, anti-air. You already have a duster, which is kind of equivalent to an anti-air uh, at this point. It's like a flying anti-air, but it doesn't one-shot. I think this is a bit overkill um, with the anti-air anything. You have a tank up here and an artillery that's not even close. I would like to see maybe a tank 
so it can eventually catch up to this one and uh, provide that backup that I initially said uh, was a proper way to play. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm capturing buildings. I have my flare up here. It's uh, really nice, I would say. Um, I can scout out most of these bridges. Try starting to capture the corner. I scout here to see that temporary airport's not captured. The city is also neutral. I pull it back, pull it straight back, and I keep my anti-air hidden. And I put this tank here to eventually fight this tank on the bottom left side. And eventually I produce my own medium tank. Uh, right now it's turn 10. Um, yeah, I felt like that I was pretty okay with firepower. I have uh, one, two, three, four tanks and a SEALs and a Tasha helicopter. Uh, I felt that it was uh, safe, like okay to tech up at this point. This helicopter maybe should have started flying down here to reinforce the tank, but I do have a uh, I do have a tank on this side, so that might have been why uh, I didn't bring my copter straight down. All right, moving up, <clears throat> trying to uh, scout out, get stopped because the city's a hidden tile. Cannot do anything. I. I am guaranteed to get this uh, fourth city on the center. Oh, he moves his duster. I thought it, I thought it was his duster that he put a uh, that he put his CO in. Capture the building, moving units, and he builds a flare and another duster. It's two flares. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Whereas I went with one flare and two recons. The second one's already dead. He goes for a double flare and ha having a recon here. Uh, maybe slightly opposite with what I'm doing. I have my flare uh, in the center and recon's on the side. He might be doing recon on the center and then the flare's on the side. So it's almost like a, almost like a funny wave of uh, flare recon, flare recon. So pretty interesting. Um, maybe perhaps I like. He sees units on this island. He's like, okay, um, this one, this island's probably lost. Maybe like try to wing around the outside. Perhaps do a pincer strike. But this second duster, I really don't know how I feel about this. I would be a bit okay with a battle copter because battle copters uh, <clears throat> do much better against tanks, while dusters. Uh, are obviously stronger against uh, infantry. Oh, I'm sorry, clicking the wrong things. Uh, I don't know if this is from the CCO buff or not, but um, yeah, infantry get hit really hard from uh, battle copters. Although battle copters are just better than tanks. This was hella aggressive. This was. I, I guess I had these two out here for scouting, and that was not the best thing to do. I think I saw what happened to those two cop, to those two bikes, and just felt like an idiot. My helicopter moving in. I have uh, a recon tank here next to these mountains. Protects my helicopter, although I think it's in, in vision of this bike here. I still don't see. Oh, oh wow. I have two medium tanks now. Uh, maybe uh, I saw this and anticipated, okay. Maybe he has, um, maybe he has a lot of anti-airs and is suspecting air units. That probably was my thought process. I'm sorry if that was too big. I, I just noticed uh, what it looked like. So yeah, gets trapped. And yeah, these take a nasty beating. Gets trapped up here, trapped this building. Board, now boards his duster up here. He sees, he, he probably sees it. Sees I loaded the tank. Gets some very nice vision. 
with the uh, with the recon. Tanks all up. Flares moving down here. Trying to capture these corners. Reveals my uh, my bike. Kills it. I do have a medium tank on the way though. Artillery is not covering it though. Okay. It's either turn 12 or turn 13. Uh, currently, we are even on buildings. He is ahead in the uh, units, though, I will say. Probably because he killed my one recon is like, built two air units compared to my one battlecopter. This is turn 12. Alright. I pull back on the mountain to get some vision, get a really nice first strike on this, uh, on this anti-air. And, um, yeah, uh, I don't want to attack into an anti-air with a battlecopter because first strike or not, um, anti-air will favor. Flare moves up almost defensively. I finish off this bike up here. Tank stays behind the recon and I begin capturing the city. Uh, tank, medium tank, gets a really nice first strike against this little tank here. Doesn't have much forces on this side. I have three tanks on the center island. And I have a medium tank that's coming on its way. And uh, I produce a duster. Oh, oh, I joined my motorcycles. Yeah, I shouldn't have joined it. They were they were dead anyway, so um, I had to do something. But uh, yeah, uh, tank, artillery, and duster. Artillery, I love artillery. Um, I, I, f I find how useful they can be if uh, you can have them hidden in the center island. And then maybe they can start like shooting shots. Like an artillery here can cover this, 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 as well as here, here, and here. Like an artillery at like maybe these two places, you'll get good. You'll get good uh, target practice off the bridges. Duster to combat air units. Uh, I don't remember if I built any of here. I had one here. So I guess this was my quote-unquote interpretation of an anti-air. Duster is moving in. Uh, mountain, see how dies. I actually get some nice scouting off this, uh, off this anti-air. I wonder if he shoots my uh, artillery, gets a first strike on that. Pulls this flare up. Bike is retreating. Medium tank is moving up. Bike is moving up as well. I have more cities in the center. He has more cities in the corners. Gets a really nice hit on this uh, right here. And he builds a bomber. Ooh, this bomber is... Uh... It's Waylon. I don't know what you were expecting. 27 buildings right now, so most likely had enough for a bomber. Um, bomber Wayland, probably very, very strong. They're probably healthy enough to still contribute good enough damage. But uh, that's why I built a duster for those air units that battlecopters cannot attack. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I, I try to reveal this anti-air, get this nice hit off this uh, bike, trying to get my city. Up top here, I'm covering my bike to hopefully get the city. I don't see what's down here. There's nothing down there anyways. Tank moves down. Uh, tank is going to pull back to heal. And I get a lot of nice first strikes. I think I might have seen this duster. And that's what made me pull it back. Uh, let's see here. I pull this back here. So yeah, uh, it covers the tanks, but uh, I have a duster that could cover my battlecopter if needed. And in response to these dusters, I built a fighter. <laughs> I mean, what did you expect? We're air, we're air unit CEOs. It's gonna be an air fight. We're gonna be fighting for air dominance. Okay, Chancho, what do you have? Pulls back this anti-air, 
pulls back his tank. Artillery is being pulled back as well. If I was able to scout these, I was thinking of maybe... Art I don't know if the artillery would have made it back here. If it could have gone back further, maybe here would be nicer. Because it does cover the tank if I do try to finish off the tank. Trying to go for the cities on the bottom. Trying to go for my city on the top. Uh, moves his duster in. Du they don't, they're not that good against tanks. They don't do a lot of damage. Trying to chip it down, but uh, doesn't get good value off it. We're, we're really having a, a heavy fight for the center now. And uh, this little inner corner here is being contested with this uh, with this tank. And he builds another bomber. Holy crap. <laughs> Whew. That is insane. And he has enough for an artillery and, uh, and a tank. So uh, I think the unit value is probably different now. Yeah, he has three more units than me. Obviously more value, especially since he bought bombers. We are even on buildings, surprisingly. Looks like he has more control in the corners. I have more control in the center. And like these inner corners, same thing. I really did play for the center this game, I realize. So tank is gonna kill that. Two infantry here, obviously we'll chip that down. Kill off that one infantry. Try to capture these buildings. Tank is gonna move back to interrupt the cap on the top here. Artillery is gonna move in to maybe assist here. And um, I did take this uh, take this first strike. Because um, although it's weak, I don't think dusters do a lot of damage to counterattack. Anti airs. They deal only 5 to an anti airs. So yeah, I felt very comfortable doing what I did. I block off uh, this, this corner, attack that bike. Then I follow it up by wounding this infantry. Keeping my keeping my uh <coughs> my battlecopter safe. This is why I slightly regretted putting my CO in a battlecopter. Uh because it's so far it's only attacked like one or two things. Maybe one thing. But it cannot fight back against dusters. And these dusters are buffed by Waylon. Um, slightly offensively, but more defensively. But this is, I am not a defensive air unit. Uh, and my offense isn't going to matter, because I can't hit back a duster. So yeah, I have dusters and fighters to uh, hopefully reinforce the, uh, to take air dominance down there. And, uh, <laughs> this, I told you. We're both air units. You would probably expect a missile, considering how tightly packed the center can be. Missiles, I feel, were very, very useful. Are very good for this map, especially in this very matchup. <laughs> uh, let's see if I get any value off it though. That's the important thing. And I have enough for another duster in infantry. Because it's like fighter, initiator, then each duster can like finish it off or something. Medium tank now starts to pull towards the center. Bomber's on his way. Duster's trying to deal as much damage as it can. Actually gets the uh, gets ahead in numbers. And they're all just pulling back and such. Uh, kills this scouting infantry with the flare. So has this anti-air here, which is pretty scary. And here I am actually attempting to capture, to reclaim this corner. So um, what looks what it looks like right now is that I did say I was going to get control of the center. But I am very aggressive on this top side here. And like I said, I got the city. I got the city. Nothing can contest, nothing can interrupt this capture. Um, here he has his own two cities here. Uh, he has these two. But uh, looks like I'm about to get this one. And uh, yeah, just air units just flying towards the center because they are not hindered by the terrain. Uh, he produces a rocket and a tank. It's kind of funny. The moment I build a missile, he builds a rocket. Which makes sense. I have a lot of ground units here. Oh, this flare. That flare is so good, though. 
Turn 15. Get rid of that bike. Recon goes out to scout. Have my own flare here. Pulling back my uh, tanks to be safe. Get that kill off. Move my medium tank up. And uh, yeah, uh, I, I decided to put my uh, my anti-air here instead of here because it's the center. Uh, that's why I pulled the infantry back. Bikes are slowly pulling through to capture. I keep my fighters on the back side and my like my duster up here. Because, um, yeah, I'm trying to get air dominance. Missiles, they're gonna come down and hopefully go here. Battlecopter moves down as well. I just got this nice little 3x12 on, uh, nice little 3x12 on the center island. Stern would be happy if you saw this. <laughs> oh, yeah, medium tank, battlecopter, bike. Uh, finally build my second battlecopter, and I build like my third tank but yeah that bomber comes through and he uses a flare it sees everything Ooh, that flare is uh it's insane and like the fact that he has bombers here it's it's about to get real crazy in the center this was a very good first strike um from uh, my opponent actually gets the uh, advantage um there are no comp towers on this map, I also realize. Um, comp towers give a plus 5% offense and defense. So some of these stats may slightly change. But uh, yeah, it's been... Uh, it's been crazy in the center, and he builds his own missiles. I guess he thought the same thing I did, but um, decided to build a rocket. And he goes for my... Goes for my radar. Gets a nice artillery hit on my uh, tank. Uh... Bear, like pretty much sacrifices his duster. I don't know what he's doing. <clears throat> Turn 16. I flare out this side. I see everything. So yeah, I have very good vision here. And um, I pull this tank up to a capture. Uh, currently, looks like nothing's capturing now. I now I am now beginning to have the income advantage. Um, cause he has, I only, I only have the city, he has two cities here, but I have all the cities in the center. That's, that's what's evening it out. Missiles coming through. Interrupt the cap on the radar. Does not kill, surprisingly. Yeah, these missiles, if anything came up here, these missiles would get the chance to shoot. The EM tank pulls back to, uh, finish off the kill. Anti-air kills this duster. And, um... I probably notice anti-air here, anti-air here. Uh, I was just being a, a chicken with uh, my CO zone. I probably could have gotten a lot more done. Had I used something else. Uh, I, I see that this tank is here. Uh, I see that this tank is here. Can, can protect with this medium tank and this uh, this tank here. Battlecopter can just move in and just kill uh, the revealed tank back here. And uh, I am low on fuel though. Uh, 38 fuel. So um, I better resupply quickly. But uh, good thing this map has uh, 10 airports. Build another duster for uh, air offense. <clears throat> and I build more tanks for. Uh, Ground support. Pulling away. Anti-air takes out the fighter. Flares us out. Has one bomber. Anti-air coming out. Bro, imagine my look. Imagine my face when I saw that. When I saw that there were two bombers. I was like, ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I hope this missile can get some value. <laughs> Um, we have a duster here, actually in range. 3 HP anti-air, not gonna do a whole lot. <clears throat> trying to kill my tank. I tried to go hide in the forest, but uh, I was prepared for that. <clears throat> produce medium tank, produce battlecopter. 
looks like he pulled his tank back. Artillery, trying to reinforce the center. Builds another artillery, moves his unit around, tries to scout. Bike moves in, protect the tank. He's uh, trying to get one of my cities. Uh, so if I capture this, uh, I will have 31 to 26. So um, this center control of esports cities is um, starting to add up with uh, with the income benefit. I'm getting really good hits off this uh, off here, and um, I try to protect my uh, bike and have a tank here. And yeah, it's just really tight and claustrophobic first first strikes. But look at this missile. This missile can cover almost every unit down in on this island. Because we are kind of backed up right now because two bombers are literally flying ahead. Tanks move up. Duster moves back towards the uh, center here to reinforce, hopefully. I produce my own duster, anti-air, and artillery. Yeah, this is uh, quite the air game, honestly. Flare does not reveal anything outside of the island, which is really nice. And um, Bomber goes for this, and I'm high. I am happy. I, I am very happy to see that. Uh, has his own missiles up here. His own duster is just sitting there. Uh, I want to see how much uh, how much zone that has. Oh, Wayland has thirty. One, two, three, four. Pretty sure Wayland has like thirty points or something. I ha I have to see for myself. I don't think uh, he has enough to. Uh, I, I want to say he doesn't have enough to use his power. Yeah, honestly, I cannot tell right now either. Oh, wait. Uh, if I do this. Yeah, Wayland had enough. Popping that power would have actually benefited him. But uh, yeah, that bomber is going to die to the missile in the air. Slightly gaining control, protecting my cities. Capture that city. Uh, right now, it looks like I'm seven income ahead. So yeah, you can uh, slowly start to see uh, the income control I'm having. Keep my battle helicopter alive. Uh, I try to damage the anti-air. Again, damage the anti-air. Kind of in a way to protect my uh, to protect my. Units, if uh, it ever gets too chaotic on the island, and more units are just moving forward. This missile is ready to, to serve and protect. <laughs> I, I, I just, I pull this back maybe to protect my, uh, my helicopter here. Anti-air, tank, and another duster. Gets a really nice first strike down there. Artillery chips off and kills my tank. Rocket coming through. Flare and a bomber's coming in, but that bomber again in range of my uh, missiles. <sighs> Here he shows me his duster. Um, yeah. We all know what's gonna happen when I got a missile back there that the flare cannot see. Rig, artillery, flare moving up, and he builds his own fighter. My own fighter has died, but um, I do have a lot of anti-air units here. Uh, use a medium tank to attack that, and I kill his CO unit, which freely allows me to one-shot these missiles. And yeah, here I'm just... I'm doing a lot of cleanup right now. Has his own missiles here. I don't think I saw them. Kill off that tank. Heal. This was super aggressive. 
But uh, considering he has like four units, five units that could try to interrupt this, he's spending at least one of them to do some to deal with that infantry. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> moving, uh, moving my units down. Trying to capture that city. Finishing off that bike. Anti-air moving towards the center. A healthy one, in fact. Um, Dustin moves up. Flare. Uh, Battlecopter. I I kind of see why. I kind of see how uh, how strong flares can be on this map. So I was like, you know what? I'll just counter with my own. Missiles. Rockets. They're doing their thing. Wouldn't be surprised if I was playing against Gage. <laughs> Pulls his tank back. Resupplies his flare with the ABC. Trying to capture in front of my face. And uh, yeah. Using these units to finish off uh, my side. See, Duster's. Although it's at 4 HP, doesn't do a whole lot to my recons. <sighs> More anti airs in the battle copter. Alright, let's look at turn 20. I am ahead 7,000 income. Units, I'm actually ahead by 3. So I'm more ahead in income than, uh, than units. I try to kill that flare. Thank god I do. But I am stepping uh, closer towards the trap. I would consider this overextending. Oh, well, I captured the building. Now I'm like 9 income ahead. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine income ahead. Me and tank coming in, trying to get a first strike. Another one coming through to like kick them down harder. Duster inside the range of the missile, <clears throat> which I am really proud of myself for. Anti airs are not close by doing anything. Maybe this fighter, but um. I have my missile here to shoot down that fighter. Two more medium tanks. Helicopter moving forward. Anti-air moving closer up. Rocket damage. Uh, two artilleries kill this one tank here. Reveals my artillery. Helicopter here. Doesn't reveal anything else. And uh, as I predicted, fire is gonna move in, take out that uh, duster. But um, I would say this is the most valuable missile I've ever bought. <laughs> Honestly, um, it's taken out. It's chipped. It's heavily chipped, not chipped, like dented a bomber, and then it killed a bomber. Now it could kill a fighter. Anti tank. Anti-tanks are really good against other tanks. Obviously, hence they're called anti-tanks. If it is a medium tank, transport copter in a tank. I wonder what this transport copter is for. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. He has an infantry and a mech up here and an infantry here. Maybe he's just planning ahead to load up mechs or whatever. But uh, yeah, this fighter is getting like almost 30,000 value in damage. And here because I already felt like I had so much air dominance. That um, not air dominance, but uh, air control. That I was okay with a, a denting this rocket with, uh, with my anti-air. I could kill everything else with something else. I saw that anti-tank, I was like, ooh, it's gonna get some good hits here. Try to chip the missile as much as I could to no avail. Artillery uh, chips down this bike to interrupt the cap. Anti-tank comes in, protects the artillery. Duster in this bike trying to kill this 2 HP artillery, but it's not going through. Um, I have established uh, a strong, but uh, safer, uh, Formation for my helicopter, but this is overextending. I, yeah, sure, I have the center, 
but I'm not producing units in the center. I'm producing units up here. Uh, this is close to a base here and an airport here. Uh, <clears throat> so you think you have the advantage and you just feel like you gotta keep pushing and pushing and pushing. Then you realize that all your reinforcements are all the way back here while your opponent's reinforcements are already up in your face. Uh, that's how you know you're overextending when you realize that your opponent can reinforce faster than you. <laughs> so your reinforcements, I got a very fast moving fighter. Artillery looks like it died, but uh, the anti-air should be able to help fix that. Anti-tank, really good hit. Really good hit. Anti-air, surprisingly, deals 70 damage. No, I'm sorry, not 70 damage. Like, 74 damage, specifically. And, um, I survived. As, uh, as Tasha. Oh, he, oh, you saw that? He tried to go for the... He tried to go for more damage, but um, gets trapped by the uh, by the anti-air. <clears throat> I would say that was a nice uh, little formation of protection um, for my CO unit. But now it's at two 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 tiles wide. I actually have a uh, a chance to uh, use it as support now. Like I can deal with two tiles. One tiles were very hard for me. Looks like I captured another building, anti-tank, and infantry. I was surprised that did not kill. <clears throat> this infantry didn't kill that tank after it was being shot by that anti-tank. What is it on? It's on a plane, so that surprises me even more. It's literally at 1 HP. No, 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 bring that back. It's 1 HP now. Oh, that was so close. Let's see, uh... The stats currently. I have 34 to 23. So this is like a heavy, heavy income deficit for my opponent. I'm like, what is this? 11 more properties? Oh wait, no, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> I didn't count properly. Uh, temporary airports count as buildings. But uh, this is the correct amount. I am 10,000 more income than my opponent. Which is very, very detrimental for them. So I'm moving uh, towards the center and more towards the right to uh, enforce. Battlecopter sh uh, should have done what this infantry did. Attack first. Moving all my units towards the right side, because I guess uh, this is a slight like front shift or whatever. Happily kill whatever I can. I'm gonna pull this back to heal. Chip this anti-air because we all know uh, what kind of a match this is. Missiles? <clears throat> Other than this spot, this spot, and maybe this spot for moving infantry. Very nice air cover. Okay. I did leave this artillery slightly exposed. This was not a good play for me. Fighter comes down, and I produce my own bomber. <laughs> I have enough for a bike a tank. I was like, all right, I need more ground units with more mobility. I guess it's time for a fight. <clears throat> we are we are air unit. we are air specialists after all. <laughs> anti tank did a lot. Reveals my anti air. Tries to do something with my duster. Doesn't work. Medium tank. Five HP medium tank does damage my uh, my regular tank. Duster is coming in. Anti air tank. All moving towards the right side. Uh, this gets trapped, but uh, it's protected by both. It's an artillery I can't see. Rocket probably cannot see. Helicopter recon already built the anti air. I can see this rocket actually. I don't know if I choose to back off or not. Oh no, I go for. <coughs> I go for the battlecopter tank, and then I try to chip down whatever I can and I kill the rocket it is on a road however but uh, yeah this artillery is trapped let me see the vision on this thing oh wow they do have a uh... they have that much vision yeah three vision okay so it can see uh, what it wants to shoot artillery 
Because that surprise is 2 HP uh, anti tank, anti air, did just enough. I didn't want to pull in my uh, my damage battle copter. So uh, yeah, a little wall here, but I got this little opening. Fighters coming in, bombers coming in, tanks moving in, bikers moving in. Anti-air, Battlecopter, medium tank. Turn 23, I have uh, 30 units to 17, so 13 more units. <coughs> Artillery, missiles, indirects, trying to take out what they can. Artillery is uh, moving out here, staying on the city to protect and Hit whatever it can. Anti tank takes out my infantry, I think. And yeah, they just begin <coughs> moving up. Not in range of this miss. It's like a lot closer with the missile. Puts a seal zone in the battle copter on turn 23. After losing his for a while, one HP anti air is not going to do anything to this duster. Turn 24. I make very good turns. I move in with my fighter to one shot, and then the artillery. I'm gonna kill what it can kill. Um, and here I am, just like slowly moving ahead, kind of respecting, uh, kind of respecting my opponent for having some forces in here. Move the missile back because um, I feel like it needs some protection. Yeah, it's, it's not enough protection. It's exposed over here. I almost fell asleep, I'm sorry if I did. Bomber moving in. Anti-air moving down. A battle copter moving down as well. Here I have a flare, another bomber, and I now launch a flare for some reason. Uh, yeah, this flare, I agree, I like this. I would agree with this flare. I have an anti-tank, but it doesn't have great vision. Oh no, I take that back. It's three vision, okay. Three vision. Not too bad. But I do feel kind of blind over here, so um, I am going to need some vision. Finds my anti-tank. Uh, infantry are in max, are good counters to uh, anti-tanks. So he has his uh, CO buffed battle copter. Hmm. Tank kills uh, that. Getting a lot of really nice first strikes. Anti tank trying to cover the back. Mac and Duster and Max were produced. He has a T copter, so I'm pretty sure that works. Here I get some nice first strikes. Put myself in front of this artillery, but didn't even matter, it died. I got trapped by this recon. I tried to chip in as much damage as I can. <coughs> I use this uh, um, air. I use this copter to give a slight damage boost to my tanks, which is actually enough to kill. I try to kill that. I flare it out, and uh, I'm at 58. I, I I use that duster in hopes of getting uh, you know some kind of uh, damage, in. not damage, but more like. <clears throat> in hopes of increasing myself. Bomber moves down. Tank moving down. Artillery moving down. Fighter is fine. Produce rockets of my own. And uh, here? Um, what is this? The, the missile. If anything goes from my copter, I cannot protect it. Anything goes from my duster, I cannot counterattack or anything. Yeah, now here is just like trying to defend his properties. That's the bottom side. I lose my anti-air because it gets trapped. Uh, transport moves the uh, mech down here. Pretty good position for a mech. Wayland <clears throat> Battlecopter comes in, shoots down my 5 HP uh, Battlecopter. I was hurt. I was legitimately hurt when that happened. 
I was one point away from my CO zone and I had so many air units I felt that it was the perfect time to use that movement bonus and just start knocking down everything with heavy heavy hits. He builds missiles. Uh, feels a little too late for missiles unless he can uh, use them very well. It's now turn 26. Uh, 10 more income than my opponent. And I have 7 more units. <clears throat> Uh, missile does shoot down the transport copter. Fighter's gonna come in and get a little revenge kill. Get Whalen off that uh get Whalen off that battle copter. <clears throat> Roll in the medium tanks. The medium tanks are they're coming for you, they wanna get ya. Protect the radar. Block off uh, that bridge with an infantry. Uh here I do more work down here. Oh, I go. I start capturing them. Then hope that uh, wow, well, that missile does not uh, reach my uh, <coughs> my battle copter. And I'm sending good reinforcements down on this side. So uh, yeah, you can kind of see that um, I have control of the center. I'm doing like this little pincer strike now. Well, it's about to be a pincer strike if uh. If this closes in on the right and this closes in towards the south. Medium tank, tank, duster, two tanks and a duster in a match like this. Boards the CO on the duster, gets a nice hit on the bomber. And he's kind of pulling back. Like, like got this nice little wall here. Missile stays as close as it can to the front. Anti-air gets shot heavily by uh, a tank, and yeah, he's got units moving down here as well. <clears throat> I was like, all right, you know what? A battle copter. I couldn't get much off of it early because I didn't have any way to protect it. So <clears throat> I will use this tank. Oh, I'm sorry. I will use this tank as like a ground to air support unit. It's also sturdy and uh, it can't stay alive. Looks like a partial capture. Capture that. Balacopter and bomber is doing what they can. Just flying in. Taking out air units. That mech is a threat. Flare to assist. Anti-tank to, uh, to kind of posture show off. Uh, by Duster, I have a fighter and Duster of my own. Capture... Whatever enemy that was. I guess that one decides to follow. Missiles. Tank. Bomber. Protecting this one infantry. Duster moves up. Tank. Moving tank moves down. Fighter. Anti-air. Tank. Turn 27, I just want to see the unit count now. Um, 31 to 12. Oof. And if I capture that one city, it will be 34 to 22. That's like a 12 income deficit. So on turn 27, uh, my opponent is trying to fight back as much as he can. Dealing as much damage as he can. Artillery moves up. Missiles move in. It's pretty nice. It's got a nice little uh, defense formation. But I do have a couple things to crack through. Looks like I will keep the city. Uh, readjusting units over here. And Shaun to Cho resigns. The game ends with 27 turns. And <clears throat> yeah, almost triple my uh, my unit count versus uh, my opponent. Uh, I'm sorry earlier if... if, uh, if this I can't scroll in. Okay, I'm sorry earlier if this was a little annoying to you guys. I, I wasn't aware I had it like that. But um, yeah. That was uh, Central Lake Tasha versus Waylin. Turns out in the end, I became the ruler of the skies. <laughs> um, 
Thank you guys uh, so much for uh, watching this replay. It was uh, very fun to do this. Uh, I hope I didn't nod off too much because um, it's 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 actually kind of late for me. Uh, 11 o'clock actually. Um, but uh, I will, will quickly edit this video. It's not a whole lot to edit. And then um, I can get this up hopefully tomorrow. Uh, Tuesdays is uh, Tiny Wars Tuesdays, as I uh, like to call it. Uh, working on a schedule, and I will do my best to provide uh, Tiny Wars content for you guys every week on Tuesdays, 4 p.m. Eastern Time. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Advanced Warrior. You all have my warmest regards. Please take care.